tear up the cover of the patches and she has pain on her scalp and headaches. That means all of this was already there. That means everything you see happening right here, it was already going on. She even shows us a little bit before this, she bends down for a hot second before she realized how bald headed she really is. I'm gonna let you see. Luckily, I know how to get my hair to grow. So I'm not super, super, super disappointed, but I wanted to put the message out, the message out there for other people who may be using this product. Watch when she bound her, bound her hair. Use it at your own risk. But I don't give a damn nobody say. I don't know if they like. I don't know if they using a heavy level of alkaline or whatever. But your hair is made of keratin. You see when she bend her hair down? How bald head is? And you, you would think that I was combing through my hair with nair. What you want? Or Veet. Or any kind of hair removal product. Okay. I had less hair come out when I was getting relaxers back in the day. Less hair came out. Alkaline. With the alkaline relaxer. Then what the f been coming out of my hair every week? And I'm not saying I wash my hair every week. I'm trying to get to the part I was looking for when she bent her head down. I might have missed it. But every time I take down a protective... See, that's the thing, Hiram. I literally have homegirls who have fibroids from relaxers. And who is suing dark and lovely? And who's gonna stop wearing style that I always wear? I've always worn protective style since I've been natural. I've never had this problem. A little shedding, yeah, I understand that. Clumps of my hair. Thank God I got a man to love me. Cause, cause listen, listen. Girl, listen. you love your bald headed ass anyway. It, this ain't different. This is just you with a ponytail. Listen, Linda. So at your own risk. So I just wanted to update cause I've been seeing everybody post who've been posting or reposting their shit. I get y'all sharing it, and y'all should. But whoever's using the products, I think I missed the part I was looking for when she actually bent her head down. But when she literally bent her head down, and as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and add this to the breakdown playlist. Please, please forgive me for forgetting, so that you can go back and watch this video uninterrupted. Uh, but when you see her bend her head down, it's somewhere between the seventeen and the seventeen fifty-five minute mark. You can actually see just how bald headed she really is already i'm not blaming the victim i'm just looking at this thing from a couple different per per perspectives because we are almost in libra season <laughs> and in libra season you gotta be honest okay because october is the month to end all karmic cycles baby i did it last year and this year i got them on out the way early shout out to me let me let uh let me get to the next person pleading their case I see that and i'm not blaming the victim i just see that a lot of these women already had some hair problems and i think that they thought that because this woman was light-skinned she was gonna make some special ranch sauce that was gonna taste different because it was pink y'all be falling for that pink don't you I mean, you got everything you need right there in your cabinet. And Beyonce, I made a whole suite of hair products. She actually has some amazing hair products. She don't pay me, so I don't promote her. 
That's just the way it is. But I definitely am a sacred girl. Don't ever get it twisted. Lana inboxed me one day and asked me what I use, baby, sacred. That's it, and that's all. I'm not about to go to, the, to Walmart or Target and, and get no shampoo everybody gonna use. If it's good enough for everybody, it ain't good enough for me, just like my man. Been insane. I have I've never been a migraine girl. I'm and a gel. You know what I mean? Go back. Scam. The way that But as for me and my house. You about to spit some truth. I threw that shit outside in the dumpster. Did. Oil does not grow hair. This is a scam. The way that you grow hair is by taking care of your scalp. Thank is by you. making sure that your scalp is being properly cleansed Thank with you. a good shampoo, that your hair is being moisturized by a good conditioner. The curly hair routine really can be simplified to a shampoo, conditioner, and a gel. You know what I mean? This was shampoo conditioned and I used gel to style five days ago. When have big corporations cared about us? They have poisoned our food supply. You think Thank that's gonna poison the hair care? Moisturize your scalp and stop listening to every video on TikTok to tell you not to do so. People are telling you to spray water on your hair shaft because scientifically it's supposed to help moisturize your hair and get the, the nutrients in your hair shaft. Stop listening to people like that. That's how you burn your hair come for me, I'm about to sound real elementary, but it's only because that's the only way you understand it. If you're black, you need to put oil in your hair. Okay, period, point blank. You need to moisturize your scalp, period. Your, your scalp produces oil, but it doesn't produce enough to get from the top of your hair shaft to the bottom of your hair shaft. Somebody who is quote unquote white to you, YT, quote unquote, have good hair to you, um, their hair produces a lot more oils than black people because their hair, their scalp produces oil and it goes from the top of their hair shaft all the way to the bottom because their hair is straight. Your hair is not straight. Your hair is curly or is kinky curly or it's coarse so the hair uh i mean the oil that grows on your scalp doesn't all the way go it doesn't go all the way down to the hair shaft so this is why us people of color black people have to moisturize your scalp you have to moisturize it okay this is what i learned in beauty school i've been moisturizing my scalp my client's scalps our hair has been growing hair has been healthy hair has been um getting hydrated um also shampoo and conditioner is really important especially like clarifying shampoo when you want to strip all the minerals out your hair, uh, like all the dirt and buildup and oils and then deposit moisture inside of it. But you don't want to use clarifying, clarifying shampoo all the time. But if you are black, you need to moisturize your scalp. I don't know who is telling black people to do this, but I feel like they don't like you if you're actually doing it and you're listening to them. No, you need to moisturize your scalp. You also need to wash your hair, not every day, not every week, but you need to make sure that you wash your hair and treat your hair. I put a lot of natural stuff in my my hair i make my own hair oils i'll be selling it soon um i put a lot of food products in my hair because that's what makes my hair grow and when you think about it before we had all these chemicals we had stuff from the earth so please moisturize your scalp stop listening to people if you gotta get desperate put grease on your scalp because it's dry please do so water is not gonna do it for you okay and it may do it for some but not everybody not the majority okay stop listening to these people who are telling you to put water only in your hair and stop putting oil them people are crazy and they need to be reported on TikTok. Period. One thing I will say is, Wait. my hair has absolutely been thriving. Yeah, know I got the notes. Regent, I want to I want to hear from you. You said that she is wrong, and, and you know what? You said yes. You you and I are thinking the same thing. You said scalp massage. It is essential. I actually wrote down scritching, and my mom taught me when I was little to scritch, scritch to pull the sebum off of your scalp and then run that sebum down the hair shaft and you will have enough. I mean, your hair don't gotta be greasy. <laughs> we produce a certain amount of oils that actually give us what we need, but we, it is gonna take time to sit down and actually do your hair instead of just having the convenience of being able to throw an oil on there to do it for you. Um, but yeah, you can scritch, I scritch my hair uh, scritch your hair and get the um, get the oils out of your your uh, scalp, the sebum out of your scalp. That's going to give you the give your hair the moisture that it needs. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Was there anything I missed, Regin? Fill in the blanks, please. Thank you. Yes, whatever your hair for. And black people are the only people that break our hair down into types. Nobody else does it. And by black people, I'm not talking about Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, or Cubans. I'm only talking about black American people. We are the only people that break our hair down into all these different types. 
when my daughter literally has three different hair types in her head, I know as I'm navigating through her hair, I use different combs, different products, through different parts of her hair. Her hair is like a whole planet. You know what I'm saying? It's got different terrain. <laughs> yeah, you got to stop comparing your hair to anybody. You got to understand that. Man, when I tell you, when I was on the uh, my last cruise, and there was a, an Egyptian lady, um, which I know that doesn't mean you could tell what her hair was like, but you know, uh, modern day Egyptians are mulatto. So they have a lot of um, European and African, um, you know, whatever. And her hair had this beautiful, big, full curl that I thought was just so gorgeous. And she said, she was looking at my hair to my, oh, I wish I had small, tight curls like that. And we were staring at each other and didn't even realize it. And finally realized that, you know, we, you know, you on the cruise, you be drinking, so you paying no attention to what's happening anyway. And finally we broke, we broke the stare and, and introduced each other. She's like, I'm just staring at your hair because it's so pretty. It's like, girl, I'm staring at your hair because it's so pretty. And the thing is like, you got to love yourself because you never know. You never know what somebody loves. Um, you got to validate your own self. The more you wash your hair, the more it will produce. Oil. She got her don't, don't politics voice on. The more Shout out to you. Thank you for the knowledge. And 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 Douglas also um, is a mortician who who is knowledgeable about this stuff too. So thank you for your knowledge as well, Douglas. And and if you went to a black college like me, then you had a beauty shop in your dorm room to make money like me. So because <laughs> I sure did freshman and sophomore year, and then in junior year I started doing nails at a shop. And uh, then when I uh, stopped working at the shop, I was doing nails at my own house and in my client's offices. So I'm a little knowledgeable. I'm a little knowledgeable. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. Thank you guys for letting me share that. I think, oh, I did have a couple notes. Um, thank you for, uh, for raging what you said about the scritching. Also, uh, I wanted to give a piece of advice to the lady who said she's making hair products and she's gonna sell them. Please don't sell them. Please just give people the recipe. Sell the recipe. How about that? That way it's not on you. Since I started using Miel products. And a lot of people don't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. And it may do it for some, but not everybody. Not the majority. Okay? Stop listening to these people who are telling you to put water only in your hair and stop putting oil. Them people are crazy and they need to be reported on TikTok. Period. One thing I will say is my hair has absolutely been thriving since I stopped using Miel products. And a lot of people don't talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. So I don't know if it was my fault for using Miel products for the type of curly hair that I have. I don't know if it's intended for only like a, like a more coily type of hair, because I do have a loose curl. But I noticed every wash day, my hair was falling out. It was breaking, shedding like crazy. And I did not know why, like I had no idea why because it was breaking and shedding so bad to the point where I thought I was going to have to cut all my hair off, like literally. I wish I had pictures to prove it, which I really wish I did, but I was literally so discouraged. Like, I didn't even take pictures of it. It was literally so bad. My hair was thinning out so bad. But I decided to try this Cream of Nature brand, and I feel like Cream of Nature is like a hair brand that people look over, but no, y'all, the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line, every single thing from it, has helped my hair so much. I know my hair looks crazy right now because it's literally going on like two weeks since I washed it. But like y'all, my hair has grown so much. It's not breaking, it's not shedding. Definitely recommend this line. If you're having like the same issues, try it. You won't, you won't regret it. Y'all remember when I told y'all not to use Miel hair product? This is why, this is from- It's Sunday, but I'm going to get into it. I want everyone to stop blaming things on a product that they have not been able to properly test what else could potentially be wrong with them. Hair falling out like that in clumps could be a sign of a health issue. It could be a sign of improper product use. It could be a sign of you're using the wrong detangler, and a lot of you are. But everyone Hyrule, wants to blame speak. the one Hyrule. hair product that Hyrule. they have. You did not come in here as Hiram on YouTube. You came in here as Hiram speaks on it, and I know who that guy is. So please speak, okay? 
I appreciate what you contribute. Potentially could be using that might have a little bit of active or a tinkle to say that this is the reason why their hair is falling out. Explaining to black women or any woman of color really that these scales that the doctors have to measure your vitamin levels, how well your iron's doing, your 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 vitamin D's, your everything, your potassium, all of this is based off of a system designed to cater to only one type of person. It's not about us. And we have to start realizing that focusing our brains on what our bodies feel like uh, during a week, as opposed to what the doctor says a number should be, our lives would be a lot better. Furthermore, I've had to wean so many of you girls off of these brushes that are literally ripping your hair out during your detangle process and you don't even want to accept it. Yes, You're like, oh my God, it's taking me hours to detangle. Oh my God, my hair. Oh my God, my hair. There's only one detangler I've been using for the last 10 years. And when I show people how much shedding they have in my sink, they're always astonished. And it's a tangle teaser. I don't tangle care who comes out with what brush. I don't care who comes out with what comb, a uncomb, a non-comb, a two-comb. I'm not using it. Girl, so while I was in China, man, it was rough. We didn't know hair products. And one of my homegirls, Tasha, she was like, bitch, take this home with you. I went to visit her in, in Shenzhen. And she's like, please take this home with you. Man, my life changed with that tangle teaser. These shampoo combs when your hair is a coil. Them shampoo combs are going to rip your hair out if you don't do it properly. I can do it because I can see over your head. You cannot do it because you cannot see over your head. And the sooner you invest in a, a tangle teaser to get those small kinks out, it'll be a lot better for you. Another thing, y'all are the problem when it comes to these products. None of you, and I mean, I'm going to say a good 75% of you still do not shampoo your hair enough. Come you are on. not using clarifying shampoo. Thank you. You are not scrubbing your scalp. You are Thank not exfoliating. You. you are not making sure that dead skin is off of your scalp. And you are layering layers of oil and oil and oil and so oil. So let me ask you a question. We got a little bit of a conundrum in the Black community, men, that y'all don't know about. Women are put in a really weird spot. We got these new hairdressers that won't shampoo your hair. So you got women that have to shampoo their own hair before they go get their hair done because these new sham, these pandemic hairdressers won't shampoo their hair and then their hair is falling out and we're blaming them for doing it wrong. I love your comment, <laughs> Reggie Cajun. I mean, it, it, it's such a weird place to be in because A hairdresser knows how to shampoo your hair. Everything she's saying is from the perspective of a hairdresser. Now, I'm not speaking about the, the hairdresser that I would say I would call if I needed a hairdresser. I ain't talking about Bevin. We are not talking about Bevin. Bevin shampoos hair. Bevin can't understand why a, 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 a hairdresser would have somebody come sit in their chair who shampooed their own hair. Because how does that person know how to shampoo hair if Bevin went to school for years to learn how to do it. So I'm not talking about my guy. I'm talking about your guy. It, it's unfortunate. You got these hairdressers that will not shampoo hair. And then we got women going by and they all shit spending a lot of money on bad products and their hair is falling out. It's really a conundrum. And, and this isn't even about hair. this conversation has nothing to do with natural hair. Because these women whose hair is falling out are natural hair girls. They're, they're, they're natural hair girls. They don't have perms or processors in their hair. The woman in the picture does. The owner of the company is a natural hair girl as well. All the girl, all the women we're seeing showing us hair, their hair falling out, they're, they're wearing their hair in its natural state from what it looks like. They're not processing it at all. So that's not the problem most likely hair is shedding and wondering why it's burning when you flat iron it oil is a conductor to cook things when you fry yeah. chicken you fry it in oil right so when you have oil residue left on your hair and you go to put a flat iron or a pot comb on it what the fuck do you think is gonna happen build up is making y'all hair shed y'all are not washing y'all hair enough and then complaining about shedding. Your scalp is an extension of your skin. This is skin here. 
This is an extension of your face. Would you go a whole month without washing your face? Ugh. No, right? Because your face would look crazy. What the hell do you think is happening up here? <laughs> then when I explain this to you guys that you need to wash your hair more, you're like, oh, it's so much work. Do you know how much easier your hair would be to take care of if you just took the time to wash it more frequently? Your hair would literally do what you wanted to do. All the things that you're complaining about. Oh, I don't see my curls like that. Oh, my scalp is always bugging out. Oh, my scalp is this. Go to a dermatologist, see if you have a scalp condition, get a medicated shampoo because scalp conditions also lead to further shedding and hair loss. If you, especially if you have contact a, a dermatitis or seborrheic dermatitis, any type of dermatitis that you let sit on your scalp for too long, you're suffocating your follicles. You need medicated shampoo. You may need a topical oil or foam yes. and you need to be washing your hair more frequently. Yeah. It is literally a part of our hair care system to wash clients' hair and shampoo clients' hair. We have yep. to start there. I don't touch anybody's head because I don't trust y'all to wash our head. When I tell you. people that they need to shampoo their hair a minimum of three times, I've seen jaws drop. Because you think two shampoos are going to do it? No. No. It's not, it's not doing it. At first, Your scalp is tired. Okay. It is exhausted. It is suffocating. Y'all are suffocating it with all of these damn products and all these heavy oils and all of these creams and all of these things that you're putting directly on the scalp when most of it is only designed for the hair. Yep. And, you know, my clients that know me or that are on this app, they know I come from a place of love and patience for the first three appointments. Once you show me that you cannot adhere to the program is when I start talking like this. She and it's still love because I want to see you do better. I don't want to see you crying and complaining that you feel like you're insecure and that your edges and you can't go outside because you feel like your hairline is thin. Like it breaks my heart to know that there's some women who feel like they cannot wear their hair because they're not in love with their hair because wow. they're so attached to covering it and not caring about it. Y'all have to do better. Yeah, I really, for this year, I want more women to focus on actually cleaning their scalp. And oh, if I see another video about co-washing, I'm going to lose oh my, my God. mind. Co-washing was the reason why y'all thought Diva Curl was making everybody's hair fall out. I'm just going to be the person to say it. A lot of y'all were like, Diva Curl this and Diva Curl that, my hair shedding. But because half of y'all don't shampoo your scalps right. and it sends your hair into a shedding phase. There are three out. phases of hair growth and that's one of the main things that'll do it. So the things that I need us to take away from this talk, get a better detangler, shampoo your hair more frequently, take your vitamins, a lot of them, especially around your menstrual, and definitely stop using so much goddamn oil. Get it off first, and then you can put some more on, since y'all are so obsessed with oiling your scalps. Bye, Merry Christmas. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's bald. She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair. So I go back and see that thing went there and then way too quick. The fuck was that shit? She's so, bald. Just in case you can't see, let me read to you what the caption says. Uh, me wondering why my hair was thinning, breaking off for months, only to find out it was because I was using Neo products. Wow. Wow. She's bald and she's torturing people who have hair. So, this is a picture of me. Oh, you know what she's saying? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, Danielle or Diana, whatever your name is. I, or Aunt Annie. Sorry, Annie. Um, what she's talking about when she says she's bald and she's torturing women who have hair, look at the owner, how bald she is. Just because she light skin with a certain braid of hair, does not qualify her to make hair products. Look at her hair. That woman is bald headed. And the woman that's about to speak is also bald headed in the front too. I mean, we got other issues going on, but she says she's bald and she's torturing women who have hair. She, she says she made hair products so everybody else would look bald headed like her. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is what my hair actually is this luscious 3c 3b hair what and when i tell you for the life of me i cannot get a curl or oh, shit. I, first of all let's talk about the fact that i literally have but can we talk about hair. what you this is the thing that i don't understand these women chose a pomegranate rosemary and a rosemary mint shampoo 
Do they even know what those things are and what they do to the hair? And why you use them and when you use them and how to use them? Because like, for instance, I would never use a rosemary mint shampoo on my hair. I would put a rosemary mint shampoo on my scalp and I would scrub my scalp with that shampoo and then rinse it off and then follow it with a moisturizing shampoo. But that's because I I use products that come with some type of recommendation with a consultation and some sort of information. Here we go with that 3C, 3B shit. What she's saying is her hair wasn't nappy like mine. But I remember the same pastor who was smart enough to give me a license without an expiration date, he used to always say, women be in love with these niggas with this good hair, but them niggas with the good hair be bald headed first. I know Aaron, I know Tony, you remember he said that shit? He said, cause they were all dark skinned. Aaron, Tony, and, and Michael May, they was all dark skinned. And they was commiserating on how much women love light skinned men with good hair. I'll be sure in them. And he was like, women love them niggas with them good hair, but them niggas with them good hair be bald early. You can't listen. You can't put everything on everything. I'm not blaming the product and I'm not blaming the people. I'm just looking at it from all sides. That does make a difference too. Her first hair picture is colored. Her second hair picture is dark. And 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 her, her second hair, I mean, she's saying that the problem is her hair is lifeless. But she's bald headed all in the front and on the edges. So that didn't come from the product. That was already the way it was. How could you expect a rosemary mint shampoo to maintain your curl? Rosemary is a very strong herb. If you knew anything about magic, you would know that. You don't just use rosemary for everything. You put rosemary on gamey meat to bring down the flavor. I got some lamb right now. I'm about to throw some rosemary on top of to, to balance out the flavor. I mean, that's why you go to a hairdresser and you buy products that are recommended by, even your hairdresser might recommend some over the counters. When did her hair become black? Rajin, that's what, you're, that's, what, that's what you're smart enough to see. She didn't go from uh, uh, auburn colored hair to black hair because of the product, did it? Did, 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 did that reverse her hair color too? Did it add the crow's feet and the dark circles around her eyes? I mean, did it unarch her eyebrows? I mean, we're obviously talking about a whole lot more going on than just a hair product. And it's been some time. That's what my point is, is saying all of that. That wasn't just to throw shade at the fact that she's aging horribly and the fact that a lot of times light-skinned women do because you don't have that melanin. Shout outs to the melanin, baby. But this, these pictures weren't taken two weeks apart. I mean, come on, let's be real. Thank you, Rachel KJ, for noticing that. None. Okay. So just to give you a side by side, I guarantee you that little girl that not delusional when it comes to this. I guarantee you the little girl behind her head is grown. <laughs> I bet you she went to that little girl's college graduation last week. <laughs> she done pulled out an old picture from the good old times, the one she showed all her boyfriends. A new boyfriend so they can see how she used to be fine. <laughs> oh my God. Playing chemist in their head. You can't do that. Grown and moved on with her own family. Right. You talking about de a de at least five years. We're not talking. I mean, Rajan made the most, most apparent point. The woman's hair in the picture she's showing us is a completely different color from root to tip. It's none of her hair is that color. I mean, it's 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 the smear 
campaign for me. I guess we'll find out. I didn't even realize this until yesterday that there were so many of us who are suffering, not just adults, children who are irritated scalp, bald spots, okay, like irreversible damage to the hair. Yeah. To see all of these videos about Miel's products and how- But who's putting this shit in their kids' hair? I want to talk to you. Because uh, I realized I was dating this man. I realized he was way too ghetto for me when his brother's girlfriend, he was too close to ghetto, ghetto behavior. His brother's girlfriend put a weave in her one-year-old's hair. And I was like, nah, y'all too get up for me. I got to ease on down, ease on down the road. I got to keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. I couldn't do that. Them the type of niggas that are steal noodles at your house. This woman put weed in her daughter's hair. The girl couldn't have been, she couldn't even talk. The baby couldn't even speak yet. Who is putting Neil products? I mean... Rosemary mint is not a product for a child's hair. That's a treatment type of situation. When you start adding herbs to hair products, those are treatments. You're treating something. Those aren't generic uses. You don't generically put rosemary in your hair. You don't generically put mint in your hair. I would even say pomegranate too, because I feel like pomegranate could be a little bit stripping. It could be a little bit caustic. Caustic. So I would never put nothing with that shit. For my daughter, she uses the completely separate shampoo and conditioner than I do. Completely separate shampoo and conditioner than I do. It's a very mild formula. It's simple. It goes in and it comes out. But why would you be putting, what's up, Michelle? You're right on time. Why would you be putting, they are repeating the same script from the lawyer. It is the same exact thing. That's why I feel like it might be a little bit of a smear campaign. Because what baby is not bald? What baby is not bald? I mean, name me a baby that's under two that don't got some, they had black baby, I'm talking about whose hair doesn't have some weird cow licks and parts and places where no matter how you comb it, it's still going to grow this way and a whole fucking bald spot. That's what, that's how babies and black babies and black women have always been too hard on black babies' hair. Black women have always been too hard on black babies' hair. That's why black women grow up and look like this. And I hope this woman with this, this extra forehead is not here to smear too. I'm not saying the product is good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I see some things. And I'm going to call them like I see them. The owner is bald headed. So what do you fucking expect? You know what I'm saying? I mean, what could you possibly? I love Paul Mitchell. I love that Paul Mitchell um, tea tree oil shampoo. Oh, fucking God, it's so good. That shit is the bomb. I mean, at some point, you got to be like, I, I need to know who, the, who made this product. I need to know. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing to me, like, we can be really, really hard on, on, on little black girls sometimes, and then when they grow up with no edges, we wonder why. How a lot of women's hair have been falling out. I think I have finally solved my hair issue. I hope I have, but I'm really pissed off, and I want to be involved in this lawsuit because I'm about to tell y'all what I've gone through this past year when it comes to my hair. So ever since December, I have been noticing that my hair is falling out in clumps and the top part of my hair has been extremely thin. Even my edges was like 
non-existent a little bit and i'm just like what's going on with my hair so the first thing i did was i went to a hair specialist i paid over 300 dollars for her to examine my head and take a look at my scalp and all this just for her to tell me to put minoxidil on it honestly i felt like that was a temporary you know a temporary fix and so i i wanted to see what was going on with me internally so i went to an herbalist the herbalist tells me because i'm abstinent and i'm almost 40 that I guess I'm like training my body to say I'm not gonna have kids. Therefore, my hormone levels are off and that's causing my hair to fall out. So I went to the doctor to go get my hormone levels checked. So the dermatologist, you know, she doesn't find anything wrong. She thought it was like something with my thyroids that came back fine. So she's just like, mm, maybe minoxidil won't be so bad. But I'm like, something is wrong internally. Something is wrong and nobody can tell me what's going on. But all this time I am using Myel's products. Then to talk about, I have to go from wearing my hair natural. I'm trusting. I wanted to let her finish, but this is. Are we seeing this now? Because how? It's just too much of a coincidence. Now, her one doctor told her she's abstinent and over forty, and it's her hormones that are shutting her body down. And then another one tells her she must need monoxidil. What about a menopausal vitamin? If she's over 40 and abstinent, that means she's probably not masturbating because you can look at her and tell she probably don't masturbate like she needs to. She's not as soft as she should be. So she's probably not getting the oxytocin boost on a regular basis that she needs. It might also be that she needs a premenopausal vitamin because I don't have sex like that and I'm over 40 and my hair is not falling out. But I also take a really good treatment of hospital vitamin every single day. And I don't take the dose. I take more than is recommended. Because I'm I'm thick as fuck. A lot of times I take more vitamins than are recommended. Just so it don't take forever for shit to happen to me. When you got body, when you have things to work through, you don't take the regular dose. You take a little extra Tylenol so you can feel it. That shit take forever. But that's what I would say. If she, if she was watching, I would say it might be a good idea to check out that Rainbow Light Women's 150 Plus vitamin and take about four of those a day and watch what happens, baby. Because I guarantee you, I don't have that problem and I have the same lifestyle. Wigs and, and weaves, so I wouldn't touch my hair. I'm thinking maybe I'm manipulating it too much. Let me just leave it alone. Y'all, I can't stand wearing wigs because it feels like a freaking helmet is on my head. But I was like putting up with it because I was like thinking that this would help my hair grow back. But you can kind of see the edges right now. And I could barely add that much hair to the top part of my hair. So my hair looks extremely full in the back with the braids. And I tried to like fill it in as much as I could, but it's thin up here. And I'm just sick to my stomach because nothing has helped. And now I'm finding out about my L and I'm just pissed. So of course I'm going to try a different product. Um, if you guys want to recommend something, please help me out. I'm willing to try anything because my hair is still falling out, but I'm going to stop using their products and try something for the next couple of months. And if my hair starts growing back, best believe I'm coming for that ass. Best believe I'm coming for that lawsuit. Sign me up because I want my money for pain and suffering. Y'all, do y'all realize that most of y'all are going to get about $25 back? What? What's, okay, first of all, there's a reason why I have not mentioned the website to go to to check out class actions. Because the more people sign up for a class action, the less money I get. So I know how to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Second of all, if there is a class action lawsuit, you ain't going to get that much money. Those products are not $1,000 products, baby. Without a receipt, you may get $50. I'm coming for that ass. I want my dad's money. I want to be able to buy some extra ho-hos and ding-dongs when I go to the gas station. You sound crazy right now. Why don't you focus on getting your hormones right? And I really definitely recommend, in addition to you, you know, because I was signing for the class action lawsuit too, shit. Uh, in addition to, in addition to uh, checking that out, I would definitely recommend it if you got two doctors referring to hormones. The reason why those doctors didn't give you a recommendation like I'm giving to you is because it would never make the the industry any money. 
But I'm telling you right now, it may be a good idea for you to start using a premenopausal daily vitamin that is food based. I recommend, hold on, I'll get it for you. Hold on. I like I was telling somebody the other day, these niggas get jealous because I look so good. I can show y'all all the shit that makes me look so good. Y'all just don't want to go use shit. I ain't talking to y'all. Ratchetness does not call. I wouldn't say these women fall in the category of rat. I don't know if ratchet has to do with this one. Maybe this one is ignorant, uneducated, unexposed. They just don't know. They just don't know. I mean, I had to make a lot of my own hair products when I lived in China. Because there was a lot of counterfeit shit out there. And them Africans would sell counterfeit hair products. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. They sold a lot of um, counterfeit hair products. Um, so I started making my own shit when I lived in China. I was, I was big on some coconut oil. But let me let me just show you this. If you can see this. Hold on. Let me, let me make myself a little bit bigger. This is, and I've shown this before. This is the Rainbow Light Women's 150 Plus. Bitch, I've been using this since I turned 40. Okay? It is everything. It is a food-based vitamin, which means it is made out of food. Yes, that is rare. Those vitamins that you normally go get at the store do not have food in them. They are a bunch of silica and chemicals and bullshit put together. And so I would recommend that. I mean, if you want to know what's going on, on the inside of you, then start there. And those braids. I mean, she went through braids on top of all that. Because she's still too vain. She's still so vain that she's not going to allow her hair to heal. She is not going to allow her hair to breathe or grow or heal. And that is an internal issue. That ain't got nothing to do with your hormones, honey. That's got everything to do with your mentality. 200 pounds of weave, no edges. It's Miel's fault. Mm-hmm. 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 Juice Plus. What was the story with Juice Plus? What was the issue with Juice Plus? I think shit. Speaking of which, I just got done drinking some coconut milk. Shit, you, sometimes you gotta just go all the way to the base product and stop fucking around with these things made out of things, made out of things, made out of things. That's a lot. Oh, okay. All natural vitamins. Yeah, I love Rainbow Light. My daughter actually uses, when I was pregnant, I used Rainbow Light prenatal. Um, after that, I used the regular Rainbow Light until I realized it was time for me to start doing some premenopausal work. Um, and my daughter uses their kids one. They have awesome vitamins. No, you're not going to get them for a dollar. This is like a $50 bottle of vitamins. But you get what you pay for. Quit playing. You can get Rainbow Light at um, Sprouts. You can't get every product they make everywhere. This one, as of right now, because I actually just ordered a new bottle. As of right now, you can probably get this. It's not on Amazon right now. It's not at Target. It's not at Sprouts. I ended up going to a company to get things who took forever to deliver them. And it happened to deliver them. Where did I end up going at the end of the day? Fuck, I just bought them a couple of days ago, too. I forget where it was, and I remember I'll tell you. But um, there's not a lot of places that actually carry the women's 150 plus. You can get women's one, but I guarantee you it's not the same you will notice the difference if you are at the place where you should start using a pre a pre premenopausal vitamin or a menopausal vitamin um you will notice the difference in a in a lot of ways talk to me privately and i'll tell you the difference if you'll notice um but let's get back into this thank you guys for 
being so uh, participatory in the chat and keeping the comments from using Myel Organic. Let's get it. Now, Let's get up in these comments. So nice. small. We this is the same lady as before who I said was 